811 now, welcome back. Ollie 2.0 is the latest autonomous vehicle to join the Jacksonville Transportation Authority Test and Learn program. It is the fifth vehicle JTA will test as they look to the future. Look at that. Ollie 2.0 is an electric vehicle developed by Beep Local Motors by LM Industries and Robotic Research LLC. Joining us now, Joy Moy from Beep. Joe, thank you so much for speaking with us today. It's a pleasure to be with you. Beep has deployed shuttles with JTA, as we know, throughout the past year. What makes Ollie 2.0 different, and why is this so important? You know, as you pointed out, the JTA has been testing a number of these various platforms and is really leading the country in, you know, how we're evolving the use of these technologies and testing each of these vehicles and the specific requirements that JTA has outlined for the downtown project, um, the U2C program is just absolutely critical. They want to be able to prove out how these platforms will operate in the specific requirements of the downtown area in Jacksonville before they ultimately make a decision on, you know, how they're going to acquire and, and deploy these longer term. Makes perfect sense. Tell us a little more about this shuttle operation and what people can expect to see when they see Ollie 2.0 going down the road. Yeah, so the, the way the vehicles operate is really two primary components of technology. First, you know, they're fixed route environments. So we actually map the exact route that these vehicles will travel, and then they're managed via GPS uh, network and connection to ultimately keep them on those virtual rails. And then the second component of it, uh, equally as critical, is the sensors and scanners that are part of it, built into the vehicle that ultimately uh, perceive the environment. So they're driving down the road, they'll identify there's a pedestrian there, slow accordingly if they're at a crosswalk, obviously stop, things of that nature. So it's a combination of staying on their exact mapped route and then using the technology to scan and, and react to the environment around them. And of course, these routes are shared by people like you and I driving our vehicles, pedestrians, as you mentioned, walking across the street. Yeah, exactly. They're they're being deployed in mixed traffic environments without any adjustments to the infrastructure. There are scenarios elsewhere in the country where they have some dedicated paths, but they are operating on the roadways with other vehicles, pedestrians, bicyclists, whatever, you know, is there on our roadways today. In your line of work, what has the reaction been from people when they see these autonomous vehicles? driving through the streets or parking lots and they don't see an operator inside yeah so so currently um the way the technology is deployed there's actually an attendant on board so we have them on board to you know to assist in educating the passengers and the public as they get on these transportation new transportation mediums but also you know to to serve as that uh, that safety attendant if there is any incident those will those uh attendants will be coming off probably in the next year. But to your point, the vehicles operate in, in complete autonomous mode. There's not steering wheels. There's not brake pedals. Um, they're literally driving down the road by themselves. I mean, people, I think, are excited about what the future holds for these types of, of um, vehicles and, and platforms. But uh, it's a bit of a novelty. People are you know, wanting to experiment with it, prove it out, but most importantly, I think see as they get on these vehicles how safe they can ultimately be in supporting mobility in the future. Joe, we could talk about this all morning long. This is absolutely fascinating. We appreciate you coming on the morning show and speaking with us about this. Yeah, pleasure to be with you. Thank you, sir.